Hi, I'm Sule from FurnitureRestoration.com and I'm going to teach you how to remove a water spot from your furniture in this video. On the table in this video, a moisture spot that's caused by setting something like a hot pizza box on the tabletop and leaving it there long enough to do some damage to the surface is what we're going to work on. First, a little knowledge about water spots. There are two types of water damage that can be done to a finish. The first is from steam that tends to damage only the surface of the finish and looks like a cloudy spot. And the second type of damage is from something like a sweating glass that tends to puddle on the surface and then wicks through the finish and normally lifts the finish along the grain. It's also possible to have both types of damage in the same area, which you can see clearly in this photo. The objective when using the product is to carefully have the brush just wet enough for the remover to do its work. Most water spots will disappear with only one or two strokes across the surface. You do not want to soak the finish, it's not necessary. I have had a few spots on commercial furniture where I had to apply it several times or even drip some on the top. But before trying this, always try it in a hidden area to not damage the surface. I've been using this product for about 10 years in my business. I've never had a spot so far that I could not remove. Though I would not promise that it will remove every spot from every table. If you feel that you've gotten your brush overly saturated, just blot it off on a paper towel and keep going. The remover should evaporate within a few seconds. Be very careful not to set your bottle down on the top of your table. It will eat the finish off your table, or if you knock it over, it will damage the finish. Should you spill some on your top, just let it dry. The worst thing you can do is to wipe it off. Now, if you have used polishes on your table, the moisture spot will disappear very easily and will look 90% better, but our product will leave a sheen difference where it was applied. This sheen difference will generally go away if you polish your table a few more times. Or you can get it to go away by wax washing the top of your table by a product that we will be introducing very soon along with an instructional video about how to use it. Again, please keep in mind that this product is made to work best on cloudy spots, not water damage that has cracking and lifting of the finish. Again, my name is Sule from FurnitureRestoration.com. Please click on the like button and share this video with a friend if you like it.